Hi, my name is James Tung. Uh, I'm an assistant professor here in mechanical and mechatronics engineering, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about our undergraduate programs in mechanical and uh, mechatronics engineering. So many of you watching this presentation are considering the mechanical and mechatronics program here at Waterloo. And what I'd like to do is highlight a few reasons why our undergraduate programs are so well valued around the world. Uh, one thing you'll he see here in this slide on the right is a picture of our brand new building, Engineering 7 or E7. Um, as you can see, it's a wonderful brand new building that houses some really excellent facilities uh, and classrooms for our students. First thing I wanted to highlight was our department is the largest mechanical and mechatronics department in Canada with 68 professors full-time with world-class expertise in some really exciting fields. So for example, my colleagues in additive manufacturing are creating new ways to produce 3D printed components. Uh, you can see a little picture of it here on the, on the top left um, where you see the MSAM, this really complex component. Our recently established RoboHub, uh, a picture of it is here in the middle in the, in the pink and purple, <clears throat> is the only multi-robot facility in the world with ground, aerial, humanoid, and maglev or magnetic levitation platforms in one place. Um, it's, so it's a really exciting place to be. It's been highlighted in a number of interesting uh, shows and um, documentaries as well. And our expertise also includes world-class researchers in autonomous vehicles, micro electromechanical machines, green energy, and assistive technology, such as exoskeletons. So it's always a really exciting place to see, hear, and touch what my colleagues are developing to advance technology and our society at large. One of our big differentiators at Waterloo Engineering is our co-op education system. All our undergraduates in mechanical and mechatronics engineering alternate between school and paid co-op work terms. Our students apply for real world engineering jobs posted by the university on behalf of employers. And not only do students gain engineering skills and experience through their jobs, but they also exercise and gain confidence in resume writing and interviewing skills as well. And of course, these are paid positions. So the average salary work term uh, for work term six students is $26.17 an hour, um, which roughly translates to about $52,000 a year. So these are you know, uh, well-paid jobs. As one of the founding principles of our university, our co-op system is well recognized with over 7,100 active employers across 60 plus countries. And I've listed some of our top employers here to the right, and these include major companies such as Apple, uh, Tesla is another large employer of our mechanical and mechatronics engineers, um, Suncor, Toyota, uh, so a lot in automotive as well. NVIDIA, which develops chips, so um, a lot of our mechatronics students are also engaged in doing hardware design for um, electronics companies. One of the nice things about co-op is that our students come back with real world experience uh, and they make our learning environment a little more enriched as well. So when they come back and they tell their classmates about their experiences and how it relates to the course content, uh, it's a wonderful thing because it really motivates our students to say, okay, these are, uh, this is material or content that is applicable in the real world environment. Uh, and they'll pay more attention and pay more um, time, spend more time in learning the, the, the content. We also have uh, a creative, positive learning environment for our students. That's one of our main foci at the, in our department. One differentiating factor is our cohort system, where students take courses with the same class of 90 to 120 students through the entire curriculum. So you stay with that same class throughout your stay here at Waterloo. And as a result, cohorts often stay in the same classroom, in fact, for lectures over the entire day. And the professors come in and out of that classroom, which really allows for a little bit more downtime between classes. We only have 10 minutes, it allows students to spend a little more time to find some food, uh, chit chat, et cetera. Importantly, cohorts are really close knit and they look out for each other over the course of their program, which I think is a, a real key in terms of getting through the program and, and helping each other out. As a department, we strongly promote experiential learning. This includes hands-on lab components to enrich classroom learning. Uh, we have capstone design projects, uh, and student design teams as well. You can see a picture of our engineering ideas clinic here, second from the left. And this space is used to facilitate these hands-on activities. So you can see here, we have some test spaces here where we can 
test our projects in some challenging environments such as water or sand pits. Um, and we also have uh, capstone design projects for our fourth years. So this is an open-ended fourth year project done in teams over two terms. Um, and it's really a culmination of the entire program. I'll tell you a little bit more about some of the projects that we've seen come out of the mechanical and mechatronics department uh, in the past few years. We also have student design teams here. So these are extracurricular uh, teams that uh, engage like-minded students on particular projects. Uh, so for example, here in the, in the bottom left, you see the aerial robotics design team, and they build and design aerial robots to compete against other universities, other teams from universities across the globe. We also have other design teams in rocketry, um, solar car is a really popular one, and uh, I had one up called the biomechatronics team that helps design exoskeletons or prosthetics for those who need them. Um, Kitchener-Waterloo is called a learning city because it uh, has uh, two universities, so Waterloo as well as Wilfrid Laurier, uh, one community college and two global research centers. And as a result, we have a very uh, multi-ethnic diverse community that includes uh, a lot of cultural groups and services that uh, um, are, are, are um, convenient to our students or accessible to our students. So for example, the, one of the most challenging questions in my day is what do I want to get for lunch? Um, we have Korean, Chinese, Indian, Caribbean, all within a stone's throw. So uh, it makes it for a really nice uh, experience. Uh, transit's also one of our really key features of our, of our students. The Grand River Transit Pass is included in student fees. And we're also uh, on the GO Transit system. So we have convenient and affordable access to in intercity transit. Waterloo has been ranked as Canada's most innovative university for almost 30 consecutive years for many reasons. A few of them are listed here. Our department has had outstanding successes in entrepreneurship, largely stemming from the fourth year capstone projects I described earlier. Many fourth year teams have gone on to commercialize their projects into successful companies. And I've highlighted three here uh, that have come from our department. So IntelliJoint Surgical, they've developed and delivered new tools to advance hip and now knee replacement surgeries and really making a difference in, in, in outcomes. ClearPath Robotics designs and builds ground robotics for industry. Um, they're a really strong supporter of our program and uh, really doing a great job in their, in their market. And we also have North, which is formerly called Thalmac Labs, and they make high quality wearables, including smart glasses, which they launched last year. All three companies were founded by University of Waterloo mechanical and mechatronics engineers and continue to support uh, through co-op uh, and sponsorships, et cetera. I hope this presentation offers you some insight into what makes mechanical and mechatronics engineering unique and really helps inform your choices. Uh, in case it helps, uh, check out the Waterloo Engineering page on YouTube. I've selected a few videos here that highlight some of my departments uh, and my colleagues' research labs and projects to help give you an idea of some of the exciting things that are going on here at Waterloo and, and that I hope you're part of. Thanks very much for your time. I hope you're doing well. Stay safe and healthy and uh, hope to see you soon.